So I'm going to ask you to look 30 years from now and help our audience, help me understand how you see the future. Okay. I am actually better at forecasting, predicting, talking about 30 years later than three years. <laughs> so, in 30 years, or before talking about 30 years, do you know, how many of you know the vocabulary called singularity? What the singularity means? Do you know, please raise your hand if you know the meaning of singularity. Okay, good. 5% of them, 5% of you know about it. 95% of you don't know about it yet. But this is the world. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. Everybody said, wow, singularity, this is the, this is the most important subject that we have to discuss about, okay? So if I ask the same question two years ago, about 1% people raise hand. So after two years, it increased to the 5%. Maybe this is the audience, a little bit higher educated people than average. But anyway, the key is, this singularity is a meaning, the computer intelligence surpass mankind intelligence, okay? So what does it mean? The computer intelligence is binary system, zero or one, bunch of zero or one. Mankind brain is actually also a binary system, neuron attached, disattached. So how many binary systems do you have in your head? Have you ever thought of it, thought of that? We all have about 30 billion binary system in our head, in our brain. 30 billion neurons. Neurons attach, disattach. That's actually same functionality as computer chip. Computer chip has transistor. Transistor on and off. This is a binary system. So, if you think of our brain as a simp simplified manner, it's a function of how many binary systems do you have in your head? 30 billion, okay? So 20 years ago, I have estimated when does one chip computer, one chip microprocessor will have a binary system, transistor, number of transistor surpassing 30 billion. When does a chip surpass 30 billion? 20 years ago, I estimated, and I said year 2018. Five years ago, I recalculated again, and again, it was 2018. Two years from now, two years from now, one chip will have a 30 billion transistors. So function-wise, our brain and one chip computer become almost equivalent. Okay? Almost equivalent. I don't care whether it was five years earlier or five years later, because the trend is the most important. 30 years from now, what happens? It's not 5x. It's going to be 1 million x. 